Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at Noon starts now. Well, it's been a hot and humid and steamy morning here across Metro Detroit, and now Brandon is tracking some scatter storms for this afternoon. We'll check in with him for the latest. Also, out of control, a family business is destroyed when a driver slams into the store. That story does top our news at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Everett Kasimi. That driver went off the road on 23 Mile and ended up going right into Richard Auto Parts Store in New Baltimore. Thankfully, that driver will be OK, but the business, sadly, is a total loss. Lauren Podell is joining us there live this afternoon. Lauren, this business has been in the area for, what, more than 20 years? It's a mess behind you. Since 1993, Everett, and let me walk you through this mess. Number one, you've got the main sign to this store right here on the ground. And then, yeah, all you have to do is take one good look behind me to see the inside of the store is now outside. And they've got crews and employees and friends and community members out here helping to clean up. But really, every time you remove a piece of wood or metal from this pile, the damage just keeps getting worse. Now, New Baltimore police, they have an investigation on their hand to determine whether alcohol was a factor in the crash that caused this damage. In over 20 years of business, Richard Simon has never seen this much sunshine through his walls, and he's lucky those walls are still standing after this black Dodge Charger crashed into Richard's Auto Parts in New Baltimore around 11:30 Tuesday night. The building structure is the main thing. Um, I don't know what's going to happen with that, but we're just going to try to get it cleared enough to where we can operate today. He's open, but it's messy. Six shelves destroyed, parts and product everywhere. Mostly chemicals, cleanup supplies, um, like trailer lights, marker lights. New Baltimore police tell Local 4 a 21-year-old female driver of Macomb Township was behind the wheel of the charger when it crashed. This is cell phone video of the tow crew attempting to pull this car out. The skid mark shows she was driving west on 23 Mile at M29 when she lost control. She told detectives she swerved to avoid hitting a car, but police are waiting for blood tests to see if alcohol had anything to do with this mess. It's a curve that goes right by. I mean, I would have never thought somebody would miss it by that much, but she did. They certainly did. And here's another look at those skid marks here in the parking lot of Richard's Auto Parts. And this is where that car first made contact with the building. A couple of things to keep you up to date on. Several roadside sobriety tests were done right here in this lot. The driver is OK. She was being treated for some minor injuries. But because of those injuries to her face, Evrod, New Baltimore police couldn't give her a breathalyzer, so that's why those blood tests are key. That will determine her blood alcohol content, whether or not uh, alcohol was a factor, but those tests are going to be several days before really New Baltimore police can reveal them until Monday is when they'll get the results. In the meantime, no charges have been filed. No tickets were given out here at the scene, but you can see right now the big part of the day is Richard's Auto Parts does have to be repaired, but I will tell you this, they are open for business and will sell what they have left. Back to you. All righty, Lauren. Thank you for the update. Well, as I mentioned at the top of the hour, it was a very steamy start to our day here on this Wednesday. Uh, for more on that, let's turn things over to meteorologist Brandon Rue. He's joining us live out on the local Fort Plaza as we are in the midst of Plaza Days, Brandon, which started uh, about three minutes ago. It did, yeah. We've already got a crowd. The kids are here from uh, summer camp in Romulus. Say hi, everybody. Woo! We've got food trucks. Yeah. Paul, the DJ from uh, Motor City Casino back there. Lots of food to be had. And really, uh, what we're trying to do is get a good marriage going with all of the new businesses downtown. Come down and see us if you don't have lunch plans already. Like this guy here. Oh, it's Jason Colthorpe. Uh, for the last time, no, you cannot have a bite. Can I have an interview? Where did you get that? I got this at Hero or Villain. It's like, like you say, a BLT on steroids. It's got an egg. Got a fried egg on there, some vegetables. Get in there, Alfredo. Show uh -huh. them how good that is. Oh, bacon plus bacon, sourdough. And when you're a hardworking reporter out on the mean streets of Detroit and you need some food, what better? What energy. Better better? You are just a bundle of energy every time. Plaza days until 2 o'clock right on West Lafayette, downtown Detroit. Yes, it's hot. 
but this is the perfect window because storm chances loom later in the day. Let's go ahead and show you what we're doing out here. We've got a uh, feels like temperatures already getting into the middle and upper 80s all over the place. And over the next couple of hours, it's manageable. It's OK. But as we uh, advance to the satellite and radar picture, you'll see some storms to the west and southwest. And those are going to start creeping in here as we get our afternoon peak heating. We're going to see the storm chances increase. Should be around 90 with a heat index around 95. And I think a good time frame, probably four or five o'clock, we're going to start to see some spotty storms firing up in some of those could be on the strong side. Again, we are live for Plaza Days right out front, local for music, food trucks. We've got bags out here. And again, we're just trying to invite local businesses and, and you at home to come down and see us and enjoy a great lunch on the Plaza of Local Four. So good. So, so good. good. So good. When it hit. Alrighty, I'll be joining you out there in just a little bit, Brandon. Uh, developing this afternoon in Dearborn, firefighters rescue a man after a fire starts at a home on Hollywood Street. Thankfully, that fire is now under control, but when firefighters got to the scene, neighbors told them that there was a man inside and they were able to pull him out safely. The cause of that fire is now being investigated. And over in Chesterfield Township now, firefighters battled a house fire, this one on Crawford Drive near I-94 and 24 Mile. You can see the fire destroyed the roof of that home and the house unfortunately appears to be a total loss. There's no word on what started this fire either and no injuries were reported here. A shooting on Detroit's west side leaves a man in his early 20s dead. The shooting happened at Vassar and Chapel near Seven Mile Road. That's where a neighbor told police that they heard an argument followed by gunshots. According to one of the neighbors here, he said he heard some argument around 1 o'clock, maybe around 2, 2.15, they heard some couple shots. The neighbors reported seeing the body after hearing the shots fired and called 911. EMS responded to Vassar Street and performed CPR, but that man did die at the scene. The shooting is still being investigated, and anyone with information is urged to call Detroit police. Eastbound 8 Mile now is back open near the Southfield Freeway this afternoon after shots are fired there. And we know that at least one person was shot, and we're told that that victim is in critical condition. There's no word on what led up to this shooting. Kansas police have issued a release this morning warning people and reminding them of how to be safe while playing the oh so popular game Pokemon Go. In that release, police warned players to avoid going on to private property. They also warned people not to travel uh, to tr not travel alone when driving or even riding a bike and playing this game. Police stress that you should not play the game at the risk of crashing and injuring yourself or others. Finally, reminder or remember to look up from your screen and always be aware of your surroundings. So thousands of kids gathered on Belle Isle this morning for Metro Detroit Youth Day. The event includes free meals, games and exhibits from colleges throughout the state. And our Sean Mahan shows us it's all possible thanks to more than 1600 volunteers. Hey, Mama. The bus loads of kids starting arriving around 830 this morning Everod for an exciting hot day here on the island. This is the 34th annual Metro Detroit Youth Day. <laughs> they are expecting record numbers, 35,000 kids, as well as 1,600 volunteers. Without them, folks, this is not going to happen. And this is all to promote a positive environment, showing these kids how much we need them and how much we respect them. And they have lots of activities, whether it be bowling, boxing, playing with robots, or simply running and jumping rope. Do you know over 1 million kids have taken part in this day that started back in 1981? Certainly a lot of lives have changed just because of one afternoon here. Things wrap up here around 2.30 of the afternoon, but the one thing that I kept hearing is how much fun everyone's Hello. having. We're having a good time at Youth Day. With the day cam, on Bill Isle, Sean Mahon, Local 4. Oh, and they are certainly having a lot of fun out there, enjoying the warmer weather. Still ahead here on Local 4 News at noon, Bernie Sanders opens up about the presidential race one day after endorsing Hillary Clinton. We'll tell you what he's saying about the two candidates and their big differences. And it's David Cameron's last day as British Prime Minister, but it's a cat that has everyone talking in the UK. 
But first, it's being described as a scene out of a zombie movie. 33 people hospitalized in a mass overdose, and now police blame K2. Details next. A billion dollars. Welcome back, everyone. At least 33 people are hospitalized in New York after smoking what investigators are calling a bad batch of synthetic marijuana, also known as K2. Emergency responders rushed to a Brooklyn neighborhood after receiving calls of people in an altered medical state. Now, upon arrival, responders found more than two dozen people only partially conscious, while others were vomiting and urinating. Now, you should know this isn't the first time that K2 has been a problem in New York, as there have been more than 6,000 K2-related hospital visits since last year. Selling or producing K2 has been considered a crime in New York since October. Well, it's the end of an era today in the UK. That's where British Prime Minister David Cameron left Parliament for the final time as head of government. <laughs> And there you see it, members of Parliament giving Cameron a standing ovation as he left the House of Commons. Theresa May will now be taking over as Prime Minister, the first woman to actually run Great Britain since Margaret Thatcher. And when David Cameron announced his resignation as Britain's Prime Minister, many wondered what about Larry the Cat? Well, it turns out that Larry won't be going anywhere. The official Chief Mouser of 10 Downing Street was recruited in 2011 for his ability to catch mice. And after an official announcement from government, from the government, he will continue to do so. Turning to decision 2016 now, just one day after endorsing Hillary Clinton for president, Vermont Senator and former presidential candidate Bernie Sanders appeared on the Today Show and made the case for Clinton over Donald Trump for president. If you want a candidate for president in 2016 who thinks that climate change is a hoax, despite what the entire scientific community is saying, well, I guess Donald Trump is your guy. If you want somebody who divides us up, by insulting Muslims or Mexicans or women, Donald Trump is your guy. But I don't think most Americans want that type of person to be president. Now, the latest NBC News poll shows Trump closing in on Clinton. She's now up by just three points with the Republican National Convention set for next week in Cleveland. The biggest brewery in the country is making some changes to its labeling. We'll tell you how it'll impact what you see at the supermarket when buying beer. And let's check in with Brandon, who's out on the plaza for Plaza Days. This is your day to come on downtown, have a little lunch with the local four talents and the local forecasters, food trucks, music. I've got your forecast. It's a pretty important one as we ride out this heat wave and track some storms with you live for Plaza Days next. When you're in the fight of your life, everyday tasks can sometimes be too much. But one woman is trying to ease the burden a little. That is such an incredible gift. I cannot even begin to say. It actually changed my world. The gift she's giving lets women battling cancer focus on getting healthy. It's the most rewarding thing I've ever done in business. It motivates you. It encourages you. Meet the woman behind a program that helps thousands around the country, including right here in Metro Detroit tonight at 11. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is a very hot outside, but it's also lunchtime. A perfect time for you to head on out to the local Fort Plaza for Plaza Days, and that's where we find our, our Brandon Rue. Have you had anything to eat yet? Not yet, but we are about to find out what you can enjoy when you come on down to Plaza Days. We've got several food trucks out here, fresh food right off the grill, and we're gonna talk to the gentleman just a minute. I have to get through the weather with you because it's a big day. The heat index right now is at 90. It's gonna be in the middle and upper 90s as we head through the afternoon. And uh, we are under a marginal risk for severe weather later today. I think the timing of this probably not until four, five, six o'clock, but we could with the heat of the afternoon see a few isolated storms popping up. The heat, humidity, an approaching cool front, and that's sort of the recipe. As we move ahead with the maps, we'll tell you uh, that again, the timing of everything is more in the late afternoon and evening with the showers and storms. So the heat sort of a double threat today in that 
it can really cost you outside if you're not careful, hydrated in the shade, and, and it's also going to induce some storm activity that will likely go through sunset, maybe 10 o'clock before things start winding down. And uh, again, some scattered storms could be on the strong side, like yesterday with the dangerous lightning, damaging wind through the evening drive. So we'll watch that. The seven day forecast shows more spotty showers and storms tomorrow. Another cold front, but it doesn't really take effect until Friday. The good news is we need the rain. Hopefully we get some good gushers and nothing too dangerous, but the better news, the weekend dry and not terribly on the hot side, right around 80 degrees with lots of sunshine. All right, back out here at Plaza Days and want to plug some of the restaurants that are out here, some of the food trucks. Tell me your name and who you're with. Yeah, I'm Rich with Hero or Villain. Uh, we got our special here today. It's the Mojo. It's a turkey uh, Reuben with a bourbon bacon slaw. It's based on a local art uh, character. I don't even know what that means, but your your uh, your truck is all sort of characters of villains and heroes. Yeah, yeah. No, we we have a superhero based truck. Uh, we do sandwiches and we have fun with it. We come up with creative names and and whatnot. And so. if you saw Jason Colthorpe earlier eating that BLT with an egg on it that was from his place all right omar over here excuse me sorry hey, hey how you doing good how you doing good to be with you tell us again the name of your truck and what you have here we are the twisted mitten um today's special is a sriracha dog so we have a all beef halal hot dog topped with a coleslaw um that's made with sriracha and all of our uh, produce today comes from stone coop farms in brighton wow you guys do it right thank you loyal thank you. to the locals yes you have to all right omar thanks, thanks. so much all right how you doing Smoky Roads Barbecue. How How's are you, going? sir? Good. How What's you? your uh, local Four Plaza Day special? Well, we have a pulled pork sandwich, well, a uh, slider with fries. Um, it's our signature pulled pork. And uh, what else are you guys serving up out here today? Well, we're doing ribs, we're doing uh, beef brisket. And uh, that's about it. Simple today. It is simple, and it's summer barbecue that's food. Right. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. All right, Everett, back inside you again. Plaza Days until 2 o'clock right here on the front steps of Local 4 on oh, West Lafayette. Our mouths are already watering. Brandon, thank you for that. Uh, breweries are taking steps to keep their consumers informed as nutritional labels are starting to be added to beer cans and beer bottles. While it is voluntary, the Beer Institute says it has major support from companies that produce nearly 81% of beer sold in the U.S. Now, among the names to start putting labels on their beer are Anna, Anheuser-Busch, Miller Coors, and Heineken. The labels will list calories, carbs, protein, fat, and alcohol by volume. The Institute plans to keep pushing and have all members labeling their beer by the year 2020. All right, still ahead here on Local 4 News at noon, a nine-year-old girl puts herself in the record books. Wait until you see what she caught that weighed, well, let's just say more than she does. We're back after this. A popular con All right, finally here at noon, check this out. A Maryland girl has caught a record-breaking fish. Wow, nine-year-old Emma thought that she'd hooked a shark, but after 20 minutes of struggling, realized it was something different. She ended up fighting for nearly half an hour before finally getting the 95-pound cobia fish out wow. of the water. Incredible story. Look at that fish, nearly double her size. Uh, she uh, did it though. I can't believe 30 minutes though. I've caught big fish before. It can take hours. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, let's get a final check of the forecast though, because uh, you're sweating just a little bit. I'm running out of the <laughs> closet in and out. 90 degrees today. It's a dangerous heat. Drink lots of water. Check on the neighbors. And I think by about four, five, six o'clock, spotty storms. Some could be strong, and some scattered showers again tomorrow. Friday, we cool it. All right. Come on out to Plaza Days. We're here till two.